Early season weed control is super important, especially in grass crops like wheat. Well, and you say that, but a lot of guys say, wait a minute, what are you talking about? I, I, I control my grass, you know, oh, I don't know, and the wheat's up this big and I'm out spraying. Or for my wheat's gonna choke out that grass because wheat is very vigorous early in the season and a lot of times it's a week or two before the foxtail gets started or wild oats. So hopefully my wheat will be strong enough to choke that out. I wanna do what I can do to stop weeds. And one thing you can certainly do in wheat for not very much money is control grasses. When we look at pre-emerge herbicides, I really like prepare early for grass control in wheat. And when it comes to broadleaves, you're worried about resistant weeds like kochia. Across much of the country has been ALS resistant for many years, but now we're finding it to be Roundup resistant in many areas as well. We wanna take that thing out early also. You could use something like Sharpen for great broadleaf control. Okay, you can use Sharpen, but here's what's gonna hold a lot of guys back. If you use a couple ounces of Sharpen, yes, you're gonna get some good residual and some tremendous burn down, but Sharpen has no activity on grass and it's gonna cost about 10 bucks an acre for two ounces. Whereas Prepare will cost less than $5 an acre if you use the reduced rate 0.2 ounces per acre. And yeah, you're not gonna get perfect control out of Prepare, but at least you're gonna have some activity on a few broad leaves, and you're gonna have lots of activity on many of the grasses, including wild oats. I'm gonna stick up for Sharpen because here's what a lot of guys are saying. Well, you know what, it's cold early, and if I'm gonna get Roundup to work, I'm gonna to have to put on two quarts of Roundup in a lot that of cases be, on those broadleaf weeds. But how many guys weeds? are actually using I'm Roundup gonna, in gonna, their spring wheat? Nobody's gonna, using Roundup I'm going to cut product. back on that burn down on Roundup and I'm going to throw some dollars into Sharpen instead and I'll get a lot faster burn down and better burn down on some of those broadleaves, like especially the winter annuals. I can smoke them when I've got Sharpen in the mix because I can use a pretty strong rate. Now I'm also going to get some residual on things like kochia and you know what? Yeah, a lot of those grasses aren't going to start till later and if I need to, I can put in a grass herbicide with my first application across the field. So there, there are different ways to look at it. If I had a big problem of winter annual yeah, broad I leaves, yep. I think I'd go with the Sharpen and hammer that stuff. Yeah, but let's keep in mind, Prepare does have burn down activity as well. And if you went Roundup and Prepare, you do a pretty decent job. No. Also, I would say with the Sharpen, you got to make sure you don't just use Sharpen and Roundup. You need methylated seed oil together with it. I agree with you on that 100%. Now, I, I would say this, Prepare does have some broadleaf activity, but it is an ALS product. So you got to think about that too. Right. You know, it's an ALS and there are a number of ALS resistant weeds that I may be trying to kill. Right. Well, anyway, with Prepare, the reason why I do like to use it is because of the fact that it has activity on so many different weeds. And again, it's not going to be 100%, but I don't need it to be 100%. I might luck out and not have to spray post-emerge, but if I do have to spray post-emerge, I won't have so many weeds, I won't have lost yield already, and I've got a much wider window because I've got that pre-emerge herbicide out. I don't have to spray, you know, the second that I see some of those weeds there because, oh my gosh, it's a disaster. I I've already got most of everything under control. Well, one thing about Prepare too, and, and many herbicides, you need to understand what's going on in your soil as to what kind of residual you're going to get. For example, with Prepare, it's an ALS herbicide, and when you have a high pH soil, we do really good even with a cut rate uh, when we've got high pH soils. When we get to real acid soils, like we've got in the Palouse out in the Pacific Northwest, we've got to use a little stronger rate to get that same activity. So by the same token, you say, well, what if three ounces for a cost yeah. of around seven bucks? Yeah, but what if I'm using that full rate in this high pH ground? What are my chances I could ding the crop a little well, bit? Well, you could, and that's the reason why we don't recommend 0.3 ounces very often if you're unsure of what your soil pH is. So the drawback is, yes, you're not going to have as much activity if, let's say, you did have a low pH and you went 0.2 ounces, but it's not the end of the world. So I guess I'd just be on the cautious side. If you don't know what your pH is, first of all, have your soil tested. It's not tough to test this and it's pretty inexpensive. If your pH is above 7 and especially above 7.5, we absolutely recommend cutting the rate to 0.2 ounces. And again, the cost is under 5 bucks an acre. Well, there's one other product that I want to mention. Brian probably doesn't even want to talk any more about this, but, but there's a product called Zidua that we're using in corn and soybeans that they're hoping to get a wheat label down the road here in a couple of years. If they do, that's a product that does some grass and some broadleaf activity pre-emerge that that would have soil residual. Well, we're kind of excited about that one. We'll watch it in the university trials and we'll be trying some uh, you yeah, know, but the or, reason why we're, the, the reason why we're so the reason why we're so excited about it though is because it's a totally different mode of action from what we've been using in wheat. It's the same chemical family as Harness, Surpass, Outlook, and Dual in corn, but 
in wheat, we're not using any of those products. So if we could get a different mode of action down, as opposed to prepare as an ALS herbicide. So we've been using ALSs in the past. Sharpen is different. I mean, that's nice. Well, you it's look PPL, at all the grass right. control in wheat, and we're primarily looking at either an ALS product or an ACCase. And if we've got a group right, 15 it. like Zidua that we can bring in, that would sure be nice to mix things up a little bit, especially as we're seeing some resistance with some of the tough grass weeds across the country. Well, once again, we encourage you to take a look at pre-emerge herbicides in wheat. I know you may not have used one before, but it's very helpful, especially if you want to get top yields on your farm. Well, you can't get top yields if you don't have great weed control. We'll show you how to control this tough weed coming up later in the show.